What's going on guys, Jacob here, Miami Dolphins Syndicate. I'm at work with some breaking news on break right now. Uh, Jalen Phillips with a tweet that we all kind of expected, but crossing our fingers, it wasn't as bad. Out for the season with the knee injury. Went down with a non-contact injury on Monday and went down twice actually. Came back in the game and, and just couldn't put any pressure on that knee. I'm not, I'm not sure actually whether it was two separate injuries or whatever the case was, uh, but he says he's gonna be undergoing reconstructive knee surgery and will be out for the season and this is a season that just continues to get worse i, I never want to say mail in the season at any point especially when you're just a month into the season and when you get a healthy Tua coming back if you can just scrap out one of these wins or these next two games you don't feel good by any means but you go in the rest of the season healthy enough you look to push for the playoffs and then Jalen Phillips goes down with the injury. One of the better players on the defense, best player on the defensive line. A defensive line that has not been good whatsoever uh, so far this year. The secondary, I've been very impressed with them. Uh, but the closer you get to the line, it kind of goes secondary, middle linebacker, linebacking crew, and then the line in terms of how good uh, our defense is. It's been really all on the secondary so far this year. Not a lot of, uh, of, of good, well, good, you know, what we've seen from the, the, the defensive line. Haven't seen... Uh, any good results geez i don't know how i struggle to get that out so much at work again break just absolutely just mentally drained right now and hasn't got any better with this news uh jalen phillips a guy that when we drafted him you knew there was a lot of injury risk based on what we saw from him in college how he was medically forced to retire at ucla and then transferred to miami was able to get back on the football field and has some really good seasons early on in his career now with the Dolphins. Few back to back really good seasons. We see him getting better and better. And then this year, coming back from that Achilles injury, and the worry with Achilles injuries or ACL injuries is always just the opposite. If it's the Achilles, you worry about the ACL. If it's the ACL, you worry about the Achilles. When you're coming back from a major injury, especially throughout the re rehab process, and you're trying to gain strength back uh, in whatever you injured, there is that possibility that you can start to favor one side, one leg or the other, or one part of the body or the other. So often you see an injury on one side, as that one's healing, you see an injury on the other, other side. Now, just off the top of my head, I immediately came to record with you guys. I'm not exactly sure uh, which knee it was versus where the Achilles injury was. I don't remember. Um, but regardless, whether it's the knee on one side versus the Achilles on the other, or Achilles and knee on the same side, that is something that's very much possible, especially with somebody who already is known to be a pretty injured person throughout his playing career. Start to favor, start to try to overcompensate, not even on purpose, but when you're going through the rehab process, not wanting to put too much strength, not wanting to be too explosive on the injury you had, you can typically see injuries like we just saw with Jalen Phillips. Now out for the season, just devastating. This season, I don't want to say you can't wait for it to end, but my goodness, how many more bad things can happen to this team? How many more bad, how much more bad news can we take as Dolphins fans? It's so hard to find anything to be positive about. I haven't even been able to muster the strength to make a video the last, uh, yesterday. I wasn't planning on making one today, but with this going on, I feel like I had to come out to you guys because this is just, this is getting worse. We're not at the point, again, not at the point that we just sell off the team and, and, and tank the season away, go for a high draft pick. I don't want to do that. I'd rather see the team pl play it out, see what happens, and start trading off assets. Uh, but we're getting close. We're getting close. It's if, if, we, if we sustain a few more injuries, like a waddle out for the season, or you know, Tua decides to not come back, or whatever else could happen. I don't want to speak anything into existence. But we are a few injuries away. We're probably three losses away from saying the season's over with. Two in, two games coming up here without Tua, and then that game at Arizona with Tua back. If we lose all of those. What is it? One is six in on the season. Basically, zero percent chance of making the playoffs. Uh, just, it's really hard to get worse from where we're at right now as Dolphins fans. Just utter disappointment, time and time again, on the field. What we've dealt with as fans, but now dealing with the off the field or on the field, but now off the field news as he's uh, as Jalen Phillips has gone down with the ACL injury. Just continues to suck. Continue to feel misery as Dolphins fans. Uh, you know, maybe. We get to see Chop Robinson and Muhammad Kamara step up. We haven't seen really anything from either of them so far. Uh, I don't even know how much Muhammad Kamara's got on the field, really. Uh, and Chop Robinson, while he has got on the field, has been very underwhelming. We always knew he was going to be somebody more of a project than a prospect. 
Um, so this is going to give him an opportunity to go out and learn the game and try to develop into the player that we hoped we were drafting as a as an edge rusher, somebody who was going to develop into his game rather than right away being able to show end product. So just look for those guys to step up. Next man up mentality. I hate to go for coach speak here, but that's all you can do. Just continue to be disappointed, continue to be let down one way or another by this team. Let me know your thoughts on the situation down below in the comments. How heartbreaking is this to you? Very much is for me seeing a young player showing promise, one of the brighter spots to maybe hold on to for the rest of the season, now out for the season. So let me know your thoughts down below. While I'm down there, hit that like button, hit that sub button. I am literally going back into work right now. So I'll catch y'all next time. Have a great rest of your day. Go Dolphins.